All right, new toy today. Well, more or less. Yes. It's for work. Ryobi, somewhere, somewhere on the YouTubes, Chakagillis, it, it's breaking his heart right now because he wants to say Ryobi sucks so bad I could feel it. But this just might very well do more than just the job. So we're gonna unbox it. You guys are gonna check it out. All right, here we are. The Ryobi 2500 2.5 GPM pressure washer, large capacity, almost one gallon fuel tank. Four spray nozzles, power 212 cc. This thing retails for $299 at the Home Depot up here in Oregon. Lord knows what it costs in California, maybe a little bit more. But with military discount, knock off about 30 bucks. You got yourself a hell of a deal at $270. And we went and checked out the ones at Harbor Freight, Lowe's, and this was the best deal we could find. So let's check it out. Comes with a choke. Pretty self-explanatory, really. A slide-on handle. You got your tent buttons, or it just should lock right on in. Dunzos. They give you this adapter, some hardware, nozzles, feeder hose for soap, engine lubricant, not exactly sure how long the hose is, but it looks like it's fairly long, the Wanda, and the nozzle. This will just bolt on just like that, and then we'll put the tips and everything else in. Phillips heads on this side, 10 millimeter hex on the back, that'll all get tightened up. Here is your pump quick start guide engine start guide I like to check the level or no right behind the tire it's kind of a hard to see yeah and hard to get to kind of So a little bit more. Yep. All of it. You sent the right amount. Came with a little paper bottle. And if you wanted to know what that bungee cord was for, straight up, it's just to help hold your hose all together. And that way it's easy cleanup, easy put away. You don't have to worry about hose getting tangled or untangled everywhere in the back of your work truck, shop, etc. cetera. Uh, now just the fuel and we'll be all right. So there's your fuel rating. Don't put in E85, don't put in E15. It's regular gas, I run it, I guess. We're there. It says it should take about a gallon, just under. All right, and this here should be the hose that you use for soap. soap. Wonder where you'd put the bottle or just leave it on the ground, huh? Leave it on the ground and send it. Here's a cap for that. There's no real place to put this. Uh, that kinda... Probably make an apparatus and zip tie it to the side or something. Kind of like we did with the other one. Or he did with the other one, I should say. I just seen it. You want half choke? Uh, probably full choke. Full choke? Is there a bubble? Closed, open, start. Oh. Probably want that open for the fuel. Yep. And then full, that's full. like, yeah, mm -hmm. full choke. Okay. Okay, we can't run it very long because we don't have water hooked up to it. Right. So, you just so want to make sure it fires. Then we can take it over to the hose and... Let's try it out. Try it out. 
turn on and off button on and turn switch on. That's it. That's all she'll need now. Easy to wheel, nice little foamy grip. All right, so which does each nozzle do now? Uh, concrete, brick, and masonry is uh, a 20. Any of these will work. The blue nozzle is for soap for any of them. And as the chart reads for each item. So for lawn and equipment, the white nozzle will not work. And for fencing, siding, and concrete, you can use the white. For just concrete and brick, you can use the green. I'm not even really sure what the red one's for because it looks like you can't use it for anything. It just says nothing. It's a solid, hard stream. Okay. So like digging a hole in the ground. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. And then you just shovel it out. All right, so out here at this nice house, got the Ryobi pressure washer, the job and task for today, first time use, but gonna be spraying and pressure washing the whole railing going all the way around, inside, outside, get all the tree moss and stuff off. Try not to take any of the paint off, and then we'll wait about a day, half day for it to dry, come back and we'll repaint it. So I'll show some before pictures, before video clip, and then uh, after, once it's all done and painted. But I'm going to fire this thing up, give it for a test run. I'm excited about this. Hope you guys are too. Let's check it out. You can see down here at the bottom, lots of tree moss. The wood has aged pretty well. This was stained at one point. We're gonna try to go over it and paint it later. But now look at the difference. And what a difference it makes. And down here at the base, got a lot of tree moss as well. Coming out pretty good so far. All right, now we're on to the fun part. 
And I mean, it should be really fun because it's kind of cool. We're gonna start hitting all the tree moss from these bricks. I'll show you some pressure wash shots and then take a couple pictures when we're wrapped up. Probably stop here in about an hour or two and call it a day and come back out tomorrow. Well, almost to a finishing point as far as the pressure wash goes. But I'm going to show you, this thing came out looking good. Getting close, baby. Just a little bit more to go and you guys can pretty much see I'm right about there to the edge here but this little guy she's putting in the work man it's a pretty good little contraption pretty good gas mileage too I think this is the fourth time I filled the tank and I've gone from the back side of the house all the way to the front and all the way here on the bridge. Uh, we done. We done. Long day. All right, so that is our unboxing slash review. I mean, that wasn't a full review. Obviously, we haven't owned it for a long period of time. We just bought it. But at least you guys got to check it out. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, 100% thumbs up. Yep. All right, so that's all we got. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content. See you next time.